Hey guys, Johnny here from Tutorun, and just a little quick fact video um, for PVD, which is peripheral vascular disease, right? Um, remember that we have two types. We have either arterial, so I'll put an A here, or we have venous, I'll put a V here. And so I'm gonna teach you about an acronym that you may or may not have heard of yet, and just a quick way to remember what we're talking about with PVD. So if we have arterial PVD versus venous PVD, I'm gonna draw a heart on both sides because it's an issue with circulation. Now arterial PVD means that we have a problem, let's move my screen up a little. We have a problem with getting the oxygen rich blood away from our heart down to our end tissues. Venous is the opposite issue. We have a problem getting the blood back to our heart that's already been circulated around and it's coming back for more oxygen. So as an example, somebody with arterial PVD might complain about lower leg pain and feet pain, that the paresthesias, the numbness, the tingling, um, the pins and needles, those type of symptoms. So if this is our feet, let's say here's feet here and a little leg, so feet here. In arterial PVD, the problem is we have a hard time getting the blood down. So we can't get circulation down to our feet. That's why it hurts so much. Venus is the opposite. The blood that's down in our feet and our lower legs is pooling. It's pooling now here at the bottom. So we're having a hard time getting it back up. So this person's not gonna have enough circulation down to the feet, no oxygen to the feet, which is gonna cause pain. This person's gonna have the blood that's just sitting there pooling and it's having a hard time getting back up. So they're gonna have um, some swelling that's gonna happen. So what do we do for these folks? That's always a nursing question that comes up. Remember the acronym DAVE, D-A-V-E. -E. Stands for Dangle Arteries Veins Elevate. This is what we're going to do for these issues. Somebody has arterial PVD, you wanna dangle their feet because gravity is gonna to help to pull the blood down. Somebody has the opposite issue where the blood's pooled and stuck at the bottom, we need to get back up. So how can we do that? Elevate, elevate the feet to put it back into circulation. Another thing that we can do besides elevation is compression stockings. So people like nurses that stand all day long, cashiers, um, people that are on their feet for uh, hours on at a time are at risk for venous PVD because we think about just gravity, right? It's just going to keep the blood there at the lower limbs, lower extremities. So. Compression stocking is always a good idea for that type of person. So dangle arteries, veins, elevate for PVD. Remember, arterial has a hard time coming down, venous, hard time getting back up. Just a quick fact to remember our PVD.